before and after, before and after. Some of the things you're going to need to put the louver on. These are the brackets that come with the louver. Some microfiber towels, masking tape, a, wa a wax crayon, some silicone, an adhesive promoter that comes with your louver. I got this louver on muscle.com. Put some towels on the windshield just to protect it so I can turn the uh, louver upside down and put the brackets on there. Put all the brackets on there and put the plastic nuts on them. Then I'm going to clean the windshield, the back windshield, real good with window cleaner. To place the louver on there with the brackets on it and to get my placement right after you get it where you think you need it you want to check your trunk clearance to make sure that it doesn't hit the louver Then I'm going to mark with my wax uh, crayon and the uh, top uh, hinged brackets are the most important. You want to make sure you get those perfect. So I'm marking all the way around the, uh, marking around the bracket there to make sure that I get it just right. And then um, marking the uh, side brackets and all I need is the uh, mark of the width of the bracket. I'm marking on the car body there. And the wax uh, crayon will just wipe off. And now I'm uh, making sure that I get those top brackets just right. Making sure I get those marked perfect. Where they're going to be placed. Just take the louver off now. Get the brackets put up out of your way. take some rubbing alcohol and clean where those brackets are going to be making sure that I don't wipe off my wax marks. And I'm going to take the adhesive, adhesive promoter pad and wipe that adhesive promoter where the, all the brackets are going to go. Again, uh, making sure that I don't mar uh, wipe off my uh, wax marks from my wax crayon. I'm going to take my bracket, take the adhesive backing off of the bracket, and being very careful to follow my marks that I made, and put it in place. press down on it to get it to stick. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to take the louver and put it on those top uh, hinged brackets. Put the plastic nuts on. Start working on those side brackets and the side brackets uh, part of the bracket will slip between the windshield and the body and uh, you take the adhesive backing off of each bracket and just make sure that that it doesn't stick before you get it put in place
you kind of kind of push in on the louver and kind of tweak it a little bit to get that bracket to slip between the the body and the windshield once you've done that then press down on them to get them to stick This is another angle on the other side. You can see there's a little bit of uh, bracket sticking out there and that'll go between the body and the windshield. And then again, you'll have to kind of push and tweak on the ABS uh, plastic louver and it'll bend a little bit to get it in there. Then press down on it to get it to stick. After you get all your brackets uh, stuck on there, then you take your uh, louver off. And then take rubbing alcohol and uh, clean off that um, adhesion solution. Now you're going to mask off the brackets, leaving just a little gap all the way around the bracket. This is so you can seal it with silicone. The silicone keeps uh, moisture from getting up underneath the bracket. Put your silicone on. I got a little glass of water there. I dip my finger in and wet it to smooth out the uh, silicone all the way around and a rag to wipe my finger off. Then take your masking tape off right away. You don't want the silicone to dry. Now the brackets are all sealed and installed. You want to allow 24 hours for them to dry. Then I'm going to take a drill with a slightly larger bit bigger than the holes in the louver and drill them out just to make it easier to take the louver on and off. And then uh, after you've allowed 24 hours for it to dry, the brackets, you can put your louver on. Now the job is complete. And this is a picture I took the next day.